So here's part one of the engine install. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is for some reason Briggs doesn't uh, thread the uh, <clears throat> the bolt hole, the yeah, the uh, the bolt holes to hold the engine down. So instead of putting the engine in and then putting the bolts into the in in while the motor's in the uh, frame, I'm gonna see how tough this is just to. Uh, put the uh, bolts in like this and if it's too difficult I'm going to come up with some other way maybe go and buy uh, buy a I don't know what you call them thread makers <laughs> I don't know why they wouldn't do that. They do it for the exhaust pipes and everything else. But, uh... We're going to try to put the bolts in. I'll just pause it so I can get everything ready. There they are. There's four of them. But I uh, will pause it and get everything ready. Okay. See how this works out. Not so good off the bat. Not working out so good. Just seems to want to eat the metal. Pause this. Uh, I think I got to figure it out <clears throat> as being a little uh, too hesitant. Let's see if that's a better angle. Yeah, I wasn't putting enough uh, effort into it.
Now my hands are all slippery from Sorry about blocking the view, but I'm trying to put some pressure. Not putting them all the way in. Almost all the way in. And, uh, spray a little lube in there to get rid of the filings and stuff. Alright, pre lube the holes and Seems very unnecessary. set up the bolt so that I'm putting the same bolt in every hole when I'm assembling it so I don't uh
subscribe, like, comment. Let me know if uh, I'm doing this the right way. I've got no formal mechanical training. Just the uh, knowledge I pick up on YouTube and reading books. And I uh, will not to pay people to do things that I can do. All this lubrication's got everything so slippery, it's not even funny. Surprisingly, these bolts aren't that hot. When I finally got them out, uh, they were really hot. Just gonna grab some paper towel here and get all the lubricant off. How garbage. Today I'm just going to basically put this in the uh, in the tractor. Um, I spent about four days cleaning up after two dogs uh, for the winter, if you know what I mean. I shoveled probably about 200 pounds of something. <laughs> like twice what our dogs weigh one's big and one's small plus I'm still having those shoulder issues so it was quite a little workout bringing this down from the house Stuff's real good, Lloyd's. High tech 
the high performance penetrating lubricant. It's really good stuff. So the bolt holes are pre-done. Off anything. Wish these engines had little hooks to, to hook onto. pinched on that side. Of course, with all the lubricant, she wants to slide down. Yeah. I guess I'll put one in. I'm going to need my extensions for that. Spider got on there. I have no idea. It was minus nine last night. I don't know. Maybe it got in the box. I'm just gonna pause this for a minute. I'm gonna set everything up. While I was setting everything up, I realized that it might be a good idea to put the exhaust. Uh, pipes on first because there's not much uh, room to get at them so I have the exhaust pipes from the old one I have the new gaskets and bolts but I do not have the old gasket scraped off the exhaust pipes and uh, I can't find anything to do that so hope you enjoyed that that was I guess part one uh, probably a few more parts to go first time doing it so hope you enjoyed it like subscribe 
and uh, I'll have more soon. Have a good one.